Hey, what's up? This is Paul Murphy. So if you're not GDPR compliant by the 25th of May 2018, then you are going to need to make some changes to your marketing and your online media. Um, so quick disclaimer here, I've got a few things that I've done. I'm going to show you what I did. But the, uh, as a disclaimer, you will need to get this checked out with a lawyer to make sure that you're um, covering everything from your point of view. It's going to be different in different countries. It's going to be different depending on the marketing that you use. Um, but I've got a couple of cool plugins that I use so I just thought I'd show you those so first and foremost um, um, I, this this tutorial is going to be for WordPress now if you're using uh, lead pages unbounce or anything where it's off you know you don't have control over the whole platform um, then um, then I'm sure that they're going to have to be GDPR compliant I don't actually have the information to share on that and as soon as I do I'll post that up if you've got a link to anything that you can do on those on those platforms then please post it down below um, I'm sure people will be really happy to hear that uh, but what I'm going to show you is how to do this on WordPress so the first thing if we come into my WordPress uh, website. This is my Trip Funnels website. Um, there's just a couple of plugins that I've installed. Actually, we'll go Trip Funnels. Here we go. So now the reason that I installed Auto Terms of Service and uh, Privacy and Service is that they up they recently updated the plugin and it seems to be GDPR compliant. Again, obviously you need to check that if you're going to do if you're going to copy what I show you. But um, but all, the good thing about this obviously is that because it's a plugin, as you update the plugin, it should update the terms and service and privacy um, to keep in line. Um, going forward, I'm imagining there's going to be a few changes. So um, I used to have my own terms of service and my own privacy written out, but obviously without me kind of knowing what all the changes are exactly as they happen and going in, this is kind of a good a good way of kind of keeping on top of it. So um, I'll just show you how to do that. Obviously, um, you just go to add new plugin, and then you've got it's called auto terms of that should come up now. So it's this one here. So it's by WP auto terms. So you install that and then is you would come into here where it says settings and you need to fill out all of these these will be most of these will be blank so it just says you know trip funnels in or automatic automatics uh, so trip funnels and then you fill out all this information and put in your information down here anything with an asterisk needs to be completed this will say off so you just need to switch that on and save changes And then just check that that is on. If you haven't done everything correctly, incorrectly there, that will say off. And then you go to your pages. Now, this is my privacy policy. Um, and what you'll need to do is here, I mean, I would recommend creating a privacy policy term service. If you haven't already done that, keeps you, it keeps your search engines absolutely love this as well. So, um, so yeah, so basically um, you just copy each one for each page and you just call one of them terms of service, one of them privacy policy, and then you just put in the short code there. So I'll just show you on this one, I've got that, and then I can show you how it looks. I've already done it, so. When you put in that short code, it'll propagate that, the whole thing. And, and by doing that, obviously, when you just update the plugin, it'll update the terms of service for you. Um, and again, I've done exactly the same for terms of service. So that one's pretty straightforward. And most, if you're using WordPress, a lot of people, it's a really popular plugin. So you've probably used this and you know what you're doing. And then, you know, I always recommend having a menu bar on all your pages. Um, now, what I use, if you're using landing page software and you're getting a little bit worried that you're not going to be able to implement this on your new, on, for instance, ClickFunnels, lead pages, Unbounce, all those um, all those sort of offline ones where you don't have control. Um, I use Thrive Architect and Thrive Leads. They've got a massive university, really, really robust. They're a much, much, much cheaper option, right? So I'll put a link down below so you can actually get in. That's an affiliate link. I do get a small commission, but you will be able to um, put up a website and actually you'll be able to have control and get this all set up for yourself as well. So the next plugin I want to show you is uh, install plugins. This one called CookieBot. Just add new and show you which one you need to install. If you just type in CookieBot up here, 
that's the one you need to install there by Cybot AS. Okay, so you install that, and then when you've done that, if you go to, uh, you actually you'll need to go to settings here and go down to Cookie Bot. And you won't have your CookieBot ID. So it says here, sign up for your CookieBot ID. Okay. Um, and this is where you sign up. It's completely free. Now, obviously, I'm going to log in. And when you first log in, this will all be white because you won't have um, input all this information. So you need to put in your website there. how you want this to show. Now I recommend having it at the top and above consent so you've got it coming at the top of your website. Um, this is going to be what shows. Now if you, this is gonna be how, how it shows depending on what you want. So I'll just show you a couple of these so you can kind of make a choice based on what your marketing is like. I have it multi-level because I do all different. So this is how it's gonna come up. When somebody first comes to your website and they click okay, as long as they haven't cleared their cookies, they won't see it again, but they will see it the first time. And this keeps you completely compliant um, with the GDPR. So we click okay there. Um, and But if you put, put in decline only, for instance, and then press ple preview, it comes up slightly differently there. So I mean, I'm obviously not gonna show you what to do because you're gonna to have to kind of research what your company's doing and actually what you need to to put in for yourself to be compliant so um so i'm going to keep that multi-level and then that's it pretty much keep content scripts and then when you press save it will say the first time it will say we're scanning your website for cookies, okay? So initially, when you do this, obviously, it's just going to be scanning your website for cookies. Um, and it does actually tell you on here. Now, I've only just installed this, so you might need to play around with this. But it says to install this shortcode to the page that you want the declaration. But I have noticed that when I didn't do it, it came up anyway. But it doesn't come up immediately. But what I'm going to do is we'll go to Dashboard. Actually, no, I'm going to come out of all of my TripFunnels sites and I'm going to clear so yeah we go to tripfunnels.com now I've cleared all my cookies this should be and there you go so this will come up the first time without anyone clearing their cookies. This will come up the first time. And depending on how you've set this, you just press OK. And then they will not get, if we just do a refresh, that shouldn't come up again. There you go. It will just come up the first time that they go to the website. And um, and that is keeping my website completely compliant. And it will be uh, good to go for the 25th of May. Um, now, what I have done is I've put a link to my website as well. On my page, I've put some other things that you need to consider. If you're doing Facebook marketing, there's quite a lot of things you need to consider as well. Um, and Facebook are, um, have already confirmed that they're definitely going to be GDPR compliant. So um, their method of methodology is going to be to cancel accounts. And, and, and if you know what it's like to get your Facebook um, ad account cancelled, then it's not it's not good fun <laughs> to try and get it back. So obviously, my advice is make sure you're compliant. Seek um, legal advice as well on top of that. Um, one of the other things you do need to consider as well is that you are going to need to update your data on a monthly basis to actually remove all of your marketing. So if you are, if somebody has opted out or somebody has said that they do not want to receive marketing, then it needs to go across the board. So I've put some information about that on my website as well, so you can have a look at that as well. So if you found this useful and you'd like to keep notified, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click the bell, and then what I'll do is anything that comes up in the future, when I know about ClickFunnels or anything like that, I'll notify you and, you'll, and then you'll get that come straight in your newsfeed. So uh, yeah, my name's Paul Murphy and hopefully you enjoyed that and I'll speak to you soon.